classes and this is Delhi School of Economics 2022-21 uh, solution and here I will be solving question number 21 uh, in this question they have given suppose that the market of for pizza is a perfectly competitive market that's okay and with a constant long-run marginal cost if there is a per unit sales tax on pizza then which of the following is correct so if there is a sales tax is imposed so consumer uh, so remember that perfectly competitive market in that case and a long run marginal cost remember that in general the tax burden is being borne by that party which has relatively less elasticity so lesser the elasticity higher the tax burden so here consumers will bear all the tax burden because of the market is perfectly competitive so they can uh, have infinite uh, number of options so 21 is option number b so next is uh, 28 which of the assumption is not required for the first welfare theorem in an exchange economy which of the following assumption is not required in the for the first welfare theorem of the exchange economy so for this thing uh, we need to know the definition of the first welfare theorem uh, here so the first welfare theorem in economic equilibrium that a set of complete markets a set of uh, uh, complete markets with complete information with complete information and perfectly competitive structure this will be giving us a Pareto optimal situation so no one can be made better off without making someone worse off so this is the first uh, welfare economics theorem fundamental theorem so accordingly if we proceed uh, so here the preferences uh, so which of the following is not required first uh, well defined property rights this is very much required otherwise we can't get that part absence of externality yes then the pattern property is guaranteed monotonic preference yes Convex preference, no. Convex preference is not a with convex preference it can go without convex preference still it can be reached. So this is the answer. D is the correct answer for 28. Next is 32. Uh, 32 here we have four options given that the two statements then which of them are choose the correct answer from the given. So statement one balance growth in the solo model implies identical rates of growth okay uh, so balanced growth in the solo model implies that identical rates of uh, different growth identical rates of growth in different sectors of the economy and balanced growth uh, in the, actually a constant factor shares in the growing economy so which of them is correct here uh, so actually what happens uh, this has nothing to do with uh, identical rate of growth so balanced growth doesn't mean identical growth but balanced growth implies that the constant factor shares in the growing economy so the constant part is not the rate of growth but the share of the factor so this is the guaranteed part so statement number two so in accordance with that we can go statement one is false but statement one is true okay next one is 33 uh, 33 says suppose that in an economy uh, can produce e to the power k amount of output per capita and if it uses k amount of capital per capita which of the following is correct the economy has a stable steady uh, state equilibrium so here in this case very easy to say uh, the steady state is not guaranteed uh, by the amount of capital per capita so it is not guaranteed so there may be or may not be a stable state equilibrium. so uh, what happens at the steady state equilibrium uh, in uh, solo growth model is very important so in solo model steady state is uh, can be diagrammatically represented by this thing uh, so this is the y equal to c plus i line uh, and uh, at steady state level this is uh, n plus sigma into k this is y equal to f of k into k to the power alpha so here it is actually e to the power this 
so we can take this function and this is the steady state value we can get so 4 is the answer to this question